Hello programmers, welcome to Gilgikify Programming. I'm Said Kwansol and I hope you have a wonderful time creating something amazing with your programming skills. This video is about Chrome extension development and JavaScript injection. In this tutorial video, I will teach you how to inject inline JavaScript code and external JavaScript files into any website using a manifest version 3 Chrome extension. I will also check and solve two errors related to Content Security Policy or CSP. These are refuse to execute inline a script and refuse to load the script. I will show you the CSP differences between manifest version 2 and manifest version 3. In general, JavaScript injection can be used for two purposes. These are correct usage and malicious usage. I created a table that summarizes the differences between the correct and malicious usage of JavaScript injection. The correct usage of JavaScript injection is to use it to enhance the functionality of a website or web application. When used correctly, JavaScript injection can be a powerful tool for enhancing the functionality of a website or web application. However, it is important to use it safely and securely to prevent attackers from exploding it for malicious purposes. The malicious usage of JavaScript injection is to inject malicious code into a website's JavaScript code with the intent of harming the website or its users. Malicious JavaScript injection attacks can be very dangerous and they can have a significant impact on a website's security. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is the most common type of JavaScript injection attack. It occurs when an attacker injects malicious code into a website's input fields, such as comment boxes or search forms. When a victim visits the website and enters data into the affected field, the malicious code is executed in the victim's browser. Well, I don't want to bore you. Let's get to the point. If you found this video helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications. Thanks. I created a simple Chrome extension to inject inline JavaScript code and external JavaScript file into any website. I have two files, manifest.json and injector.js. I used manifest version 3. Ok, first let me mention a few points. All frame is an object key in the content script section of the manifest file. It is a boolean value that specifies whether the extension's content scripts should be injected into all frames matching the specified URL requirements. The default value for all frame is false. Run at property in the content script section of the manifest file specifies when the extension's content scripts should be injected into the page. The possible values for the run at property are document start, document idle, and document end. You can see the explanation of each value. Ok, let's check injector.js file. I get the current website domain to separate which website I want to inject my JavaScript codes. I define two functions, inject.js code and inject.js link. By using inject.js code function, I will create an HTML script tag that includes my custom JavaScript codes I want to inject. And by using inject.js link function, I will create an HTML script src tag that includes my external JavaScript file I want to inject. Here is some examples to inject JavaScript. This is how we can separate websites and their injection process. You can use one of my examples. Also, if you want, you can define your favorite mode. Ok, I want to test my first example for you.
To demonstrate to you, I add these two websites. Let's run that extension in the Google Chrome. I try to inject six different JavaScript code. Three inline JavaScript code and three external JavaScript files. All right, let's check the injection. As you can see, it returns six errors. Three errors says refuse to execute inline script, and three errors says refuse to load the script. Now I will show you how you can fix these errors. There are two reasons why this error occurs in a manifest version 3 Chrome extension. Execution world. Execution world is a JavaScript world for a script to execute within. There are two possible values for execution world, isolated and main. Isolated execution world prevents to inject inline JavaScript and script SRC link. So you can't do inline JavaScript injection. Because in a manifest version 3 Chrome extension, the default execution world is isolated. So to do inline JS injection, you need to set execution world to main. In the following, I will show you how we can change execution world. Content security policy or CSP. CSP is a security mechanism that allows web developers to control how their content is loaded and executed. CSP can be used to prevent a variety of attacks, including cross-site scripting or XSS, clickjacking, and resource exploitation. A Chrome extension using Manifest version 3 has a stricter CSP than Manifest version 2. I created a table of differences between Manifest version 2 CSP and Manifest version 3 CSP. Overall, when you try to do inline JS injection using manifest version 2 Chrome extensions, you don't see refuse script execution errors. These errors only occur in manifest version 3 Chrome extensions because of stricter CSP and execution world. I explained this only for better understanding. We have nothing to do with CSP. In manifest 3 Chrome extensions, all we need is just set the execution world to main. So let's check how we can change the execution world. It's how to set the execution world using manifest.json. You can add world property inside content scripts like this. This is execute script example. And this is register content scripts example. All right. Now let's set a main execution world using manifest.json. As I explained, you can add world property inside content scripts. Isolated is default value. Ok, let's check the injection again. Very nice, inline javascript injection is successfully done. Now we can inject unlimited inline javascript and external javascript into any website. Let's check the html DOM. I injected three inline JavaScript code and three external JavaScript files. As you can see, all of my injection process is successfully done. I decided to do my injections before the closing HTML tag for both of inline and external JavaScript. You can do your injections inside the head tag. 
Let's check the other website's HTML DOM. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications. I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope it helps. Don't try to stop me now